What is up, everybody? This is Ryback Stun. We have returned to Marvel Heroes. We are here on the live servers uh, after, you know, some test videos have showed up and the Iceman release. And I wanted to showcase to you guys after I finished my cosmic prestige of Captain America, which was a nightmare, even though we had the cosmic event coming, um, was I wanted to show you my build for Captain America. Now, Captain America, since his QOL, I've loved, I loved the character before him, which is why I bought the costume that I'm wearing, the, uh, the Winter Soldier costume. And I leveled him from white to red prestige pre-QOL. So I knew, with the exception of those who did either the same thing or went all the way to Cosmic in pre-QOL, more about the leveling process for Captain America than most players did. Um, I was always the individual that was out there saying that Captain America was not a bad character at leveling. In fact, out of all the characters, first of all, he was my only red prestige. I have a few greens and two blues. Uh, he was the character I had the most fun with because his build was so easy during leveling. Uh, it was at level 60 that he was having problems, which is why they did the QL in the first place. So, but he's at his quality of life updates, and Captain America is a madman. Uh, he is now officially my main, um, because he does things better than most characters. He's a little bit more agile about things. Can take He doesn't take hits as well as my, other, uh, my previous main, which was Juggernaut, but that's okay, because he dishes out damage in crazy, obscene amounts. So... We'll go through this in individually one by one, showcase to you guys what where my points are, where my Omega system things are so far, what my gear is, what my hero synergy is. There will be a link in the description to a MarvelHeroes.info uh, build so that you guys can see exactly what's going on if you want to follow along or sh see you know later on what it is without having to come back to the video, although I would appreciate that. Anyway, uh, let's start off with powers. We have uh, I do have all the points. I have 162 points. And in Living Legend, we have maxed Vibranium Bash, 20 points. We have maxed Meteor Kick, 20 points in that. And then 20 points in Shield Bash with the uh, required one point in Heroic Strike and Her Heroic Charge, because that's what you start with. In Super Soldier, we only take two powers here. 20 points in Patriotic Soldier and 20 points in Star Spangled Strike. Excuse me. In Shield Strength and Slinger, we have 3 points in Indestructible Shield, 20 points in Torque Shield Throw, 20 points in Shield Expertise, and 20 points in Airborne Assault. Now, explanation for this is... Indestructible Shield doesn't really scale. I mean, it scales fairly well. You can see that my projection deflect uh, deflection chance is 26.4%, but the physical damage coming from uh, hit, being hit by a melee attack is not all that much of an issue, and I'm only I'm restoring 5 Spirit anyway. To be able to get higher, I would need to put a lot more points than was necessary. The You, you take this for the active effect, the passive block, and then your ability to get toughness as well as some other stuff. So 3 points in it is not that big of a deal. The 20 points in Shield Expertise is, because if you'll notice at 20, it gives me... 594 crit hit rating and 480 damage rating, but at level 37, or at rank 37, it gives me 870 crit, 776 damage rating. Um, serum powers are all still the same. Uh, damage with environmental effects does not matter, yada yada, blah blah. Now, why do I take shield expertise even though I don't use stuff like toss and bounce? Well, the passive effects are very, 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 very important. Uh, shield toss is not in my build at all, even though you have the required one point. Shield bounce no longer has the vulnerability on it, so it, to me it's a wasted power. There's no reason to use it because you can't direct it uh, before you can hit the vulnerability on the one main target you wanted to hit and then other things and do your uh, loadout kit, whatever it is you want to do. But you cannot do that anymore. Your vulnerability is airborne assault, which does a ton of damage on its own. I have three ranks in Avengers Assemble because I got two random Captain America tokens from early, earlier things. Eventually I'll be ranking this up to 20 because, you know, you need that to increase the damage of your SIG, and as well to reduce the cooldown of your uh, ultimates. So that's fun. Hero Synergy system is pretty simple. I've got Cable for the crit, Captain America for the projectile, de projectile deflection chance, Colossus for the physical damage and the health, Hawkeye for the crit, da uh, crit damage rating, Luke Cage for the defense and the physical damage, Moon Knight for the physical crit, Nightcrawler for the melee damage, Squirrel Girl for the boss damage, Winter Soldier for the range damage and the uh, melee damage, and then Wolverine for the Brute Strike chance and the Brute Strike damage, which I kind of would love to see Cable switched over to the same thing, 2% crit chance and then 5% crit damage. Anyway, <clears throat> that's that. Next in the Omega system, now right now I have 3,430 points. I only have points taken, I believe, in three trees, correct? 
I have points in psionics, points in nanotechnology, and points in mutation. Nanotechnology is the base thing everybody takes. Spin tech, 600 damage rating versus bosses, 10 out of 10, 440 points for that. In psionics, I have taken focus strength of Gon to give me the 7, uh, seven strength, minus 70 spirit, and the reduced movement speed. The penalties aren't that big of a deal. And uh, it's actually really important to get that 7th strength because it reduces your costs, which isn't that important, but the strength itself gives you the extra damage, and it helps in the long run if you're doing long fights. Um, even though your signature does give you back a ton of spirits. I do have uh, ranks in some Shadow King's possession. I'll probably go up to 7 on this, maybe 10. We'll see. I need 4 more Omega Points in order to get it to the next rank. And then in Mutation, I have 7 ranks of Warpath, which gives me 7 fighting, and all that lovely stuff is fun. Now, in terms of gear, you can see my uh, I'm at 11 strength here, 44% base physical damage, 11% spirit cost uh, to physical powers. And fighting, I get 57 base damage, 1100 brute strike rating, 3400 brutal damage rating, and lots of cool stuff there. Now, regular slot 1 through 5, we've got the, the uniques you're going to normally use. Zero Point Energy Shield, Stark Industry Support Armor, Invader's Photograph, Boondockers, and the Captain's Mask. Uh, in terms of a pet, I've got base health, rare item find. I'll probably switch out rare item find at some point in time. Base damage to melee powers, plus one rank to melee powers, and plus three to fighting. For my uh, insignia right now, I've actually, I forgot that I don't have a great insignia. This is actually really useful, even though it's very low level. It gives me about a thousand health, gives me a nice set of defensive rating, and then also the, the aura itself. Eventually I'll upgrade it to, uh, not, I'll get a better version of it at 60. Right now it's only at 40, and then I'll cosmic it, and I have an extra point in my powers. So, in terms of artifacts, we have a Gila Blessed White Suit Jacket, we have a Gila Blessed Gem of the Cursed, we have a Gila Blessed Advanced Crimson Crystal of Sidorak, and we have a Gila Blessed Spider Clone Serum. Now, why do I take Spider Clone? Boss damage, health, damage rating, regen, fighting. Easy enough. Why do I take White Suit Jacket? Damage rating, flat damage rating for all the stuff is great. Defense rating helps shield bash, and health is health. I love health. Having more health is never a bad thing. Uh, Cosmic Curse is a thing here. I'm sure I have. I can get a better version of this. I will eventually as I continue grinding out uh, more Gems of the Cursed. I run Relic of Subterranea, and the reason why I run Relic of Subterranea is because it does give a crap load of defense rating to increase the damage of my Shield Bash. Notice how I get an additional 20% damage because of my defense rating, which is right now at two, uh, 20,000. Gungnir is the Legendary. I was running McCran, but I switched over to Gungnir to get the crit hit and the crit damage. Uh, I probably still would use McCran leveling, but uh, in terms of endgame, as always, Gungnir is the top of the top, to be top, top. Uh, I need a better Industry City Signet, which apparently I did not switch out to the proper Signet. Don't know why I didn't do that while I was leveling, because I'm insane and leveling Cosmic Prestige is difficult. Um, Lady of the Sword is what I have, because I don't want to put points into Gom, and I can't remember what the other melee one was. Uh, Gom is probably the one you want, but I like Lady of the Sword because it gives me the defense rating, and it gives me essentially 200 extra damage rating on stuff, or 400, uh, as well as Spirit. In terms of the, uh, team up here, I'm running Drax, all passively, that crit and brute damage and, uh, hit and all that other stuff is fun. The, uh, defense rating, again, and damage on melee powers. Items, you'll get, th uh, passively through the thing. Now, I have, co uh, crit damage on my costume which is, you know, important. Everybody runs crit damage unless you're stupidly squishy and you want to run health. In terms of a core, I really like the core I'm using. It's got one wasted affix, which is the movement speed on, for five seconds when I use a med kit. But it's got the 25, it's got spirit, and it, because it's an armor core, it gives me an additional 1,000 defense rating. The only time I'll ever change this is if I get regen and invuln on a, uh, a core with a 1,000 defense rating because I don't want to lose 1% to my shield bash. Now... We're going to do the same thing we always do when I do these build videos. I'm going to show you a Cosmic Taskmaster. I don't take on your left because I can dash through enemies with my heroic charge and get there just as fast, if not faster. Plus, I also build up my uh, my shield serum when I do that, so that's fun. I'm going to ignore that dupe. So in terms of a rotation, the first thing I generally do is try to hit the enemy with airborne assaults, then the torque shield throw. Bash them with Vibranium Bash to get my stuff back. Shield Bash to do that. Meteor Kick when they're uh, down to 50% health or less. Try to use um, Indestructible Shield to block something like these Mortars here. And then once they're down to about a uh, little bit less than half health, or I need the Spirit, drop the Shield Strike on them and knock them out. Bada bang, bada boom. Could have done that faster if I wasn't talking in the middle of it, but you get the point of how it's supposed to work. Now... 
I personally do not believe in TTK. I think it's a useless metric. I think, not a useless metric. It does have some uses, but TTK is very overvalued by the community, in my opinion. And on top of that, it doesn't actively reflect what you'll be doing, one, in a raid situation, two, in a cosmic boss situation, or three, in a, any other group context, uh, group content situations. The reason why I feel it is not as good as th people think it is, is because with TTK, you're fighting a target that doesn't move, that doesn't fight back, and doesn't have dodge mechanics. All bosses have some form of one of those, if not all of them. So when fighting Taskmaster, he moves out of the way a lot. He charges through. He does a ton of damage in the charge. His uh, affixes and stuff like that can knock you out. Mortar is ridiculous. Way overpowered. Cosmic Circles will blow the crap out of you. A raid boss will drop a meteor on your head. Surter will kill you in one shot. And while you're trying to dodge it, or you have an invuln core, you're not, if you don't have an invuln core, if you're trying to dodge it through the rocks, you're not doing damage. So your TTK goes down. That's why TTK, in my opinion, is a useless metric. Since Captain is my main, let's go to Odin's Palace. Try and see if we can knock out Curse really quick to showcase to you how fast it goes. Alright, so we hit the map to find out which section I need to move on first, which is left. Gaining my, uh, my shield serums here. So, I tried not to use uh, higher powers, but it looks like since there's so many guys here, um, I need to do something because I'm losing health, and that's not good. My defenses are a little low, but also uh, Frost Giants and um, Dark Elves are way overturned in tune in terms of damage. Frost Giants just do a ton of damage anyway, um, even though their melee are ranged, it doesn't really matter. But uh, the, the ranged Dark Elves are, uh, like, all ranged in the game is just way overtuned. So, Gaz, if you're listening, that's a problem, you need to fix it. Anyway, um, here we go, here's Curse. Bing, bang, boom, there's the in initial rotation, use this to try and get through. Go ahead and use the uh, the signature there if I've got the ability to do so. I just have to constantly dash out of the cosmic circles because sitting in them is not necessarily bad, but you're going to die. Um, and you don't want to die while you're fighting someone like Curse because you have to run all the way back throughout the entire instance to get back here, which is annoying. So... Spawns, uh, constantly spawns adds. That's another thing you don't face when you do two TTK. And, uh, ow, I got hit by that, and that was not good. Uh, yeah, so spawns are something you have to deal with. I keep missing with the meteor kick. It's bad. I want to beat him with the meteor kick. Come on, Cursey. There we go. Haha. -ha. And I got useless items. Anyway, so that is my captain build. And it is called the What Are You Doing, Steve build. Uh, for whatever reason. It just came to my head, and I thought it was cool. So, that's Captain America. Uh, he is my main. I will continue using him. I haven't actually raided in the green raid just yet. haven't done a red raid with anybody, but um, I haven't done a green raid in a while since my old raid leader left the game, and I miss her. So, uh, there's that. Uh, Lady P, if you're listening, we miss you. Come back. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I'm showcasing it to you guys. I hope you guys can use this information to make your own Captain America's incredibly good. Uh, these are all personal choices. Um, there, there are different things you can do. You can put the full ranks in an indestructible shield if you want. Uh, I like the extra crit and damage from shield expertise. A lot of people will use shield strike and um, shield bash and go with Uru shield. That's not incorrect. That's something to do. People take finest hour because finest hour is just crowd control immunity duration by itself. It's completely useless to me because CC breaks are absolutely useless unless they have another um, aspect to them. But that's just me. I think finest hour should have been uh, tucked into patriotic soldier, but whatever. Anyway, uh, your mileage may vary on builds. Remember, this is my way to build it, but it could be a guideline for you. And if you want to use the build exactly, it is more power to you. That's why I do these things, so that you guys can learn about the game and know what's good and what's not necessarily as good, uh, so on and so forth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as it's showcasing you to Remember to like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr at Ryback Stun. More videos as they come along, and with that, this is Ryback Stun, signing out.